Okay, you guys, I want to do you a quick video on coil winders. This is an old chunk of wood out back. I just nailed these into a trough style with notches in it. You see these notches right here. And then I have a little keeper on there too. <clears throat> And you can maybe you can see or not, I don't know. It uh, lets me make any size coil uh, spool and then go from one side to the other. In fact, I had this rod in this side with some of these spools, other spools. But anyway, this is the basic one for doing different things and this is another that's just from one coil to another like a full roll or you can put a drill to it um, this is really little these are real little like fine hair like like long fine hair and um, I put this foam on here as like a tensioner and then I use this cordless drill. I I'll put this I'll put this somewhere. This piece here, and then I'll put the all four or five wires to this spool here, and then I'll spin it like this on a cordless drill. And all this is is a a bolt right there with a bent piece of metal and another bolt through there shimmed up with a spool on it. So I, I usually tighten this a lot more so that everything is tight. So when it when it gets twisted like I want then I stop uh, for a second and I wind this up and it's really tight on here. I can tighten this up so it barely moves and so um, once I get the twisted part wound up, then I'll go back to, to uh, winding it some more, like this. Okay? But lately, I'm getting tired of these little winds and these small uh, spools, and I want to wind a bigger one without having to go out to the park or something, or way out in the yard. I get grass clippings in my twisted coils anyway. And so that's what I'm here to show you. <clears throat> I'm here to show you this. This has got a gearbox in it and it's um, got six spools on it. Only these are big dogs here. And I'll be setting the tension. This is a motorcycle hub. And this, there's a steel box with a gearbox and 12 volt motor inside there. I can show that to you. And I got this strung up, these four wires on here to show you. And I don't know how well you can see it really. Let me come around and see if you can see well. Yeah, you can see the wires coming off of it, but let me, let me zero it some more for you pull it down a little bit and zoom out maybe yeah see those uh, four wires there now I'm gonna there's a battery right next to it see that battery on the table well I'm gonna plug that in I'm gonna go over there and plug that in and you're gonna see this machine spin around all right and of course it's got gigantic spools. I don't have a soft a soft start on this yet, so this thing jerks like crazy. It's a real powerful 12 volt motor, but I only need about three amps from it. And it jerks really hard. But I'm gonna put a PWM on it. Are you ready? There you go. It's winding it up, and I'll show you the wind here in a minute. 
I got it tied to the table on wheels so it's rolling right now. And you can see it's winding up. Okay, that's, that's it for now. Um, I'll show you, this is wound up too much, but I wanted you to see, see it turning. I'll try to talk softer while I'm over here by the camera. Um, I think you can see that. Yeah. See how nicely twisted up it is? Let's see if we can get in there. Okay. That's about it. And you can see the spools better. It's a monstrosity. Let me show you the inside of that gearbox. For those of you that don't know what a steering column gearbox is, I really didn't know they had one either. Hang on a second. It's hard to get this off today, I guess. All right, let me get over here and out. The back here has a motor and gearbox that maybe you can find, and you'll see it's hooked to uh, the wires there. You see that uh, gearbox? The gearbox is on a steering column of a car. And if they don't work just right, the column or whatever on a lot of these new cars, they just throw it away. And so you can go to the junkyard and get that 12-volt motor down there, that black piece, and that gearbox from those guys. And then I put a, uh, a hub of a motorcycle on it out of the shaft coming out the other side. And um, I just happen to have this bolt stock here, which you can use. And, and there's one extra because I'm only winding five coils, which is four power coils and one trigger. So therefore, one of the spools is smaller looking. And one is empty because this can do six. All right. So that's what I wanted to show you. And that's, this is Brother Mikey's Beast Oscillator John Bedini Coil Winder.